This is episode 15 of a series where we examine the cut content, design, and development of Fallout Tactics. Early in development, Microforte struggled to decide on the game's title, and for a time it was simply named Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. A few pieces of concept art still depict this original title, and it must have struck a chord with someone at Interplay, as the name would eventually be reused in the 2004 action-adventure game, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Tactics executable file uses an image of the Vault Boy as an icon. Interestingly, the exe file also contains several unused icons of the Brotherhood of Steel logo. Most notably, there is a beat up image of the Vault Boy called the Bug that's never used in game. Poor Vault Boy, always getting his ass kicked. During an interview with IGN three months before the game's release, Chris Taylor mentioned something very interesting. Quote, you can have up to six people, or mutants, ghouls, dogs, etc. in your squad at one time, but you can keep a larger pool of mercenaries back at your bunker. Unquote. In the final game, you can never recruit dogs during the campaign, however. This suggests they considered including other races for the single player mode, but dogs and Brahmin ended up being only available in the multiplayer mode. During my interview with Ed Orman, I asked him about this and he replied, I wish we'd managed to work a recruitable dogmeat character into the single player. Dogmeat is one of the series' most iconic characters, and this would have been an awesome homage. There's a list of various creature attacks and descriptions for them. A developer note mentions these will only be seen if the player can recruit said creature to their squad, but this list includes pretty much every creature in the entire game, many of which can never be used in the single or multiplayer modes. Some of these are pretty great, like the Wizard Spew attack, where you would have spewed poisonous vomit at the opponent. One of the robot abilities would attempt to stomp an enemy into a pile of detritus. Tactics has a ton of typos, and one of the Brahmin attacks features one of these stating, a typically Brahmin, rather feeble attempt at goring an opponent. What now? Last but not least is the Radroach attack where you'd spit noxious poison at your enemies. Notably, Tactics was the first game to include Radroaches, and it doesn't get enough credit for creating one of the series' coolest critters. The very presence of this list suggests they considered giving the player additional creature companions, but never added them in, perhaps due to the game's rush development cycle. There are several cut companions that were meant to have been recruited at various points in the campaign. The first two were named Fleetfoot and Slicer, and they would have become available to recruit after completing the Rock Falls mission. Fleetfoot's description reads, The Wild Plains were once home for Fleetfoot, where he would run with the rabid dogs. Fast and quiet, he has since learnt to apply the same skills to battle. He works best on his own. His entity file still exists, and it calls for the male tribal sprite. He would have had very high strength and endurance. His tag skills were going to be unarmed, throwing, and sneak, and he would have had the night person trait. Slicer's description reads, Slicer got the highest votes in the 22nd Appleton, Girl Most Likely to Stay a Virgin contest, primarily because most of the men she has known have met bizarre, disturbing, and sometimes inexplicable ends. She would have had the Jinx trait and tag skills consisting of sneak, small guns, and melee weapons. The next companion's name was Frank, and he would have become available after the player earned 2,300 rank points. His description reads, Do your squad members suffer from broken bones, missing body parts, or ruptured spleens? Do bits keep flaking off, or is there a crippled limb you just can't do without? Then call Dr. Frank. If he can't fix it, then you're probably already dead. He's also good with small guns. He would have used the Ghoul Sprite and had a high perception, along with 12 intelligence. Like his description mentions, he was a medic-based recruit, and would have had small guns, doctor, and first aid tagged. The next recruit's name is Hard Drive, and her description states, A big guy with a strong sense of purpose. 
Hard Drive can use most weapons well, but is particularly partial to energy weapons. The description has Guy in quotations, and her file actually calls for the female tribal sprite. She would have had Night Person as a trait, and would have had small guns, big guns, and energy weapons tagged. The final recruit was named CD, and her description says, CD spent most of her young life wired on tranquilizers, and since she went cold turkey, she has lost all sense of fear. Traps don't scare her, and she's always looking for a new risk to take. The rest of the recruits have learned not to play poker with her, though. You just can't tell when she's bluffing. She would have had Kim resistant as a trait and specialized in traps, throwing, and small guns. Both CD and Hard Drive would have become available after completing the Newton mission. It's possible these were just implemented incorrectly due to the game's insane schedule, but they might have been cut intentionally. Having additional recruits wouldn't have been a bad thing, but there's already a large number of characters to choose from in the final game, so the loss of these recruits wasn't that significant. There's other cut recruits named Spark, Slick, Tongue, Ivan, Tex, Quickshot, Gabriel, Chris, Hammer, Quake, Bloodhound, Mortis, Tweak, and Champ, but the only time any of these characters were shown is during pre-release screenshots. While a few of these characters are referenced in the game files, most aren't, implying they were all stripped out prior to the game's release. There's also a mostly unused list of NPCs named characters, and the first missing recruit is named Ivan. Ivan lives to have his armor covered in blood, even if it's his own. Years of physical training and headbutting resulted in a hard body but soft brain. The next is Nardo, and his description states, Nardo is really great, such a nice chap and all. Another unused character is named Narg, a reference to one of the pre-made characters in Fallout 2. His description amusingly reads, Narg is a loser. The last scrap character in this list is Laken. Waken's time was spent sneaking around the camp and stealing his adversary's prized possessions, a born thief that shows his soft side with his healing skills. This name might be a reference to senior 3D artist Waken Shoebridge. When I researched him, I found what might be one of the greatest answers in any Fallout interview ever. What's your favorite Fallout memory? After a week of animating deaths, I rather gleefully turned to the senior in charge of me to show him the ghoul explode death. Look on his face was a mix of mostly shock and fear. He immediately took me off violent animations and had me do walk cycles for a week. I suspect these characters were intended for the tutorial missions, as the one NPC in this list that actually appears in-game is named Rex, a character who only appears in a training level. Finally, a note in one of Tactic's text files suggests the player originally started the first mission with a full squad of six, but in the final game this was reduced to only three, likely to make it easier for the player to learn the mechanics of the game. Some of these changes, particularly having more creature companions, would have made Fallout Tactics into an even better game. Ultimately though, all of this was left on the cutting room floor.